It's good to have Mike back on the field. I'm sure that, that you feel that more than anyone, too. Wanted to get back last year, but here you are. And in a different role, too. How, how has it felt for you, not just physically, but emotionally, to be out there and contributing to this team? Uh, it feels a lot better than last year. I feel like I didn't really do anything, which I, I didn't contribute at the big league level. And then I tried a little bit in the minor leagues, kind of, you know, try to get back, but I didn't feel like I was really a part of the team. I um, feel like I was overlooked a lot, which um, is understandable because I, was, I wasn't really in the clubhouse a lot. So this year feels good. Um, the first first appearance, I was a little, I had a little bit of nerves, but um, you know, after that, yesterday I felt better, um, and I hopefully it's just going to get better as the season progresses. And Mike, talk about just how rewarding it is to go through all the rehabilitation and all the work you've had to do to get back to where now you feel, I would assume, as close to 100% as you're going to feel. Yeah, it does. Uh, looking back, I, I feel like I did a tremendous amount of work. I, I feel like everybody does that with rehab, but um, you know, it took me two years, two and two and two plus years to get back and. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm. I don't know. I feel. I look at the, the game a little bit differently. I've, I've come to the ballpark excited, um, whereas when I thought back of my early career, I I come to the ballpark and just kind of take it for granted because I never had any injuries uh, growing up, college, anything. And then now that I had one, a major one, where I felt like I might I might not ever throw again. Um, I feel like I don't take anything for granted. I come to the ballpark, like I said, I'm pretty happy every day. Um, I know it's the beginning of the season, but I feel like I'm going to carry this into the season, um, you know, even in June and July. And one thing I think a lot of people were really pleasantly surprised by is the velocity that you have. It seems like your velocity is right back to where it needs to be. Yeah, it's, I think it's, I mean, it's higher than it's ever been. Um, I had a little bit of that last year, so um, I knew it was in there from last year, um, but I think the relieving kind of helps me out a little bit. I can just kind of, I know I'm going to get uh, three guys out or, or, or if at the most, probably six guys out, so I can kind of just burn it out out there. And talk about the difference between uh, preparing for a game as a reliever versus what you had to do when you were starting. Well, starting, obviously, you have enough time. You can, as, you have as much time as you want to get ready, and then relieving, it's like you might need, you only have like one hit or two hitters to get ready. Um, so for me, especially like with the shoulder injury, I try to do everything I can in between um, leading up to, you know, earlier in the game, middle of the game, late in the game, uh, because I never know when the, the phone's going to ring for me. We had the chance to get to know you a little bit last year. Fans are first. Royals fans really getting the first glimpse of you. But doing a little research, small town, Chapel Hill, Tennessee, not Chapel Hill, North Carolina, went to Vanderbilt. And then I understand you got the nickname Spike at Vanderbilt. I've done some research on that. It's probably a long time ago, obviously. Now tell us who gave you that and how. Um, I'm not real sure how it came came apart. It came up. David Price kind of gave it to me. Um, I don't know, because it like spiked my hair. Everybody had like the spiked hairdo. And I think it rhymes, so he just mic'd the spike. Mic'd the spike. Yeah, so, um, yeah, David Price just gave it to me. Kind of just stuck a little bit. All right, well, hopefully we get a chance, a little Vanderbilt reunion with Mike the Spike and David Price and the Red Sox later this year. Regardless of that, it's good to have you back out there. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you.